Investigators are trying to piece together a timeline of what happened when a cargo ship rammed into a Baltimore bridge early Tuesday. Officers did manage to stop traffic on the bridge just moments before it collapsed. C-13 dispatch, the whole bridge just fell down. Start, start is whoever, everybody, the whole bridge just collapsed. Several construction workers are presumed dead as a result or as a rescue mission is now a recovery operation. Fox's Connor Hansen has more from Maryland. The Coast Guard has ended its rescue mission, now moving on to recovery with the six people missing in that bridge collapse now presumed dead. Expect later today we'll have a lot more information to share. The National Transportation Safety Board recovering a data recorder from the ship that rammed into the Francis Scott Key Bridge on Tuesday, causing parts of the structure to collapse. That information will help officials determine whether the vessel lost power prior to the crash. The agency says it is also looking into whether contaminated fuel played a factor. There has been an increase in recent years in these deficiencies noted in ships and propulsion. Divers are returning to the Patapsico River on Wednesday to look for the bodies of people still missing. Maryland officials say prior to the crash, police were able to warn workers and stop traffic after the ship issued a mayday call. Had these police officers and these law enforcement officers not done that, what was a catastrophic incident that we saw would have been even more catastrophic. As the investigation continues, vessel traffic into and out of the port of Baltimore is suspended. Federal officials say they will work to reopen the port as soon as possible, but warn we could still see supply chain disruptions. There are tunnels that work as alternatives, but there's going to be some impacts on traffic. President Biden says he'll travel to Baltimore soon and says he expects the federal government to pay the entire cost of repairing the bridge. In Baltimore County, Connor Hansen, Fox 4 News.